the controversial standard gauge railway deal worth 8.5 billion US dollars, approximately 22 trillion shillings, appears to have caused deep internal rift among ministers. Appearing before the Select Parliamentary Committee investigating the mess in the project, Attorney General Peter Nyombi, who is the Chief Government Legal Advisor, revealed that a federal minister ignored his advice. Nyombi said he warned Junior Minister of Works Johnny Biabagambi that terminating a memorandum of understanding with a Chinese firm, China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation, would cost the taxpayer. Termination of the MOU, which had been implemented, would expose government to unnecessary litigation. Indeed, the High Court later ruled that the termination of the memorandum of understanding by Minister Biabagambi was null and void. Nyombi claimed that his colleague Biabagambi told him to back off the project. And he told me he would not listen to my advice, he could only listen to the advice of the president. So I was, I was perturbed. I don't know how you reacted to this. I'm a committed Christian. When I say yes, I, may, I say I mean yes. When I say no, I say no. When I write a legal opinion, I stand by it. The Attorney General further shocked the lawmakers when he narrated how he was humiliated before President Yoweri Museveni at the President's country home in Rwachitura. The Minister of State for what chose the official who will be dealing with the Minister of Justice. That is the Director of Civil Litigation and the certain Minister of That to me sounded dirty. He says the President just looked on during the meeting he had called to discuss the Senate Gajirari project. There was no control review. And the mood was a bit strange. I left the meeting terribly surprised. This was an expression of no confidence at all in what I am doing. And I would have submitted my resignation right away. There are times when you remain alone. Minister Yabagambi has been summoned before the committee and is expected to appear on Wednesday next week. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.